Now, alhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulullah. I start in the name of Allah, seeking his blessings and assistance, sending that all praises belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and sending salutations and greetings to the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All right, so we have Mukhtar here as well. And... Uh, How are you doing, Mukhtar? Alright, I have the PDF over. Okay. You guys ready? Uh, yeah. 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 What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Just wanted to start with a quick laughter. Okay, let's get that normal now. Hang What's on a second. Happening? Let me get it back to normal, man. Sorry, you're just like playing around with uh, something here. Oh, you're having fun. this guy. You're having a lot of fun, eh? Oh my god. Okay, you're back to normal now. All right, uh, let's begin. Bismillah. So yeah, so let's practice the the what we what we any questions before that? Do you guys have any questions? Uh, about what? Anything in general, like you know, establishing the prayer. Uh, how did it go? Timing. Concerns, questions. Uh, no. No, no, no. Actually, uh, like in the PDF, it uh, like in the different positions, I just forgot exactly what it's supposed to say in each position. Okay, good, great question. So, can you get Nathan to just like pause thirty minutes of his investment activities pause and like focus here? Minutes. Oh my gosh. Dude, like I'm pausing my activities as well, right? I have some very important <laughs> thing. Ty is paused here. Dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can we can wrap it up in 20 minutes too right so let's respect everybody's time get on the call stop investing there you go <laughs> i run a business man well this is business with allah right don't think that this will reduce your income for sure man it's going to bless your income so it's not going to reduce it all right okay so great question julian so basically remember one thing what what you're doing right now is right now you're saying the same thing in all positions okay, right cool. so PDF is where we want to get to so we want to get to that level where we are saying everything that's in the PDF but right now you're saying only the thing the four statements that we discussed last time and what we will do over time is that you guys may progress at different speeds but then once you're comfortable with those four statements then Mukhtar will add another statement then the next statement and the next statement and how fast you do, that would depend on your own, you know, uh, commitment. And obviously, Nathan wants to lead the Mukhtar. Nathan wants to lead the prayer uh, by the end of this year at the masjid. Yeah, man. So we gotta aim high, Nathan, right? Yeah, can I do it on Christmas or not? Yeah, you can do that 25th December. Get ready. Well, some people they don't celebrate Christmas, or what about Thanksgiving? What about well, it? We only do two celebrations, which is Eid, two Eids. That's it. That's the only the only celebration we have is two days of the year. And no Thanksgiving. No Thanksgiving. We have Thanksgiving every day. Yeah, bro. We can we can uh, you we we'll can have, have our own have parties. Like, no problem. What happens if I have like a dinner on Thanksgiving? Just you know, just a dinner. <clears throat> and just like a turkey and oh, like is that like a sin? Well. Nathan, remember remember what we discussed last time. Let's focus on the five prayers for now, and then yeah. we can. When you're ready, then we can discuss what else you want to eliminate. Well, look, Thanksgiving has association with religious festivals, right? Now you'd have to take a look at a bigger picture about, like, you know, what would it mean for your family, and what consequences you have, and how much can you participate, what you're ready for. So all that sort of stuff we can then discuss when the time comes. Thanksgiving is a it's not like a religious thing. Okay, so, so tell me about it. The whole the uh, Christopher Columbus is like that, you know. Okay, so what? What? Are, who are we celebrating? A Christopher taking over U.S. and how is that then related to Canada? Oh, are we talking about U.S. Thanksgiving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, okay. Let, let's talk about it later. Let's come back to the prayer. Let's focus on the agenda for the call. Okay. All right. So, who wants to start with the four phrases that we practice that day? 
it's okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, Allah Wakar, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Walla Ilaha, Ila Allah. I don't know the last Do you have to memorize them? You, or you can look at it for now, but obviously I don't think you want to be looking at it when you're leading the prayer, right, Nathan? So that is true. I can have like a little cheat sheet, but it's okay. Um, and then it's a lot of food, Akbar, right? Yeah, right on. Okay, what does what do they mean? Uh, let me get that out too. So the, I know Allah. Okay, Allah who Akbar is Allah is the greatest. Subhanallah, Allah is free from any deficiency or imperfection. Alhamdulillah, all complete and perfect praises belong to Allah. And walla ilaha illa Allah. There is no one worthy of worship, full submission, of most love, trust, hope, and fear except Allah. Great, right? So these things, so ideally when you want to talk, talk about it, first of all, you're having this conversation with Allah, right? And Allah is going to respond to you. So Allah is actually going to mention to his angels that look at Julian, he's remembering me. Right? So you're actually being met. So as you mention Allah, you are actually being mentioned in front of noble angels. So Allah pays individual attention to you when you are talking to Allah. Okay? And that's something we need to remember that. So as you talk to Allah, as you praise Allah, Allah talks back. Which means that you get the blessings, you get the, your, you know, you're mentioned in, in the angels, your life gets blessed. Right? So as you pause for that, and then it also reminds you of who Allah is. So as you pause your life activities for the prayers, you are actually benefiting spiritually in your relationship with Allah as well as your uh, your worldly affairs, your worldly uh, goals as well. And one thing that Nathan asked the other day about preserving the faith, right? So it helps you preserve that fruit of faith and to recharge your faith, just like how we keep recharging our phones, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. So Nathan, you want to take the next, uh, you want to re repeat those things? Yeah. Hello, awkward. Um, subha, na, wait, subha, Allah. Um, wa Allah, hamdu Allah. Okay, Nathan, let's step back, let's step back. So, Allahu Akbar is fine, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's work on subhanAllah. So, you may have to rewrite it to make sure that you can get the right pronunciation, okay? So, let's try it again. Subha, na, Allah. Okay, why is it sub? Why not sub? Let's say sub. Okay, so, so yeah, so you so that's why I'm saying I wrote S U B. So S -U -B. if you want to change the spelling, that's fine. But what what I want you to say is sub as opposed to sub. I know you're right because you know you spell subway as S U B, right? So you can yeah. change that if you want to. Whatever right. gets you to pronounce S U B. Okay, subha. Right. Okay, repeat that. Subha. Subha Allah. Okay, no, and then you see the the word N there. You have N N for okay. Nathan, right? Subhanallah. Exactly. So do you want to rewrite it in a way that you can remember to say Subhanallah? Yeah, I'll rewrite everything. Okay, so let's do it right now. Let's re-spell it so you can say Subhanallah. Got it. So, so Julian, do me a favor as well. Like, you know, maybe the next time prayer, just make sure that, you know, Nathan is getting it. So help him out a bit, if you don't mind. Just check it with him. Zubair, yeah. maybe, we can, Zubair, maybe we can also record an audio for them. Oh yeah, I've recorded an audio. Of, yeah, I've already recorded an audio, but you know, Mr. Nathan is so busy, he's not gonna be playing the audio, right? <laughs> Again, actually, the audio doesn't help. It's more the spelling. That's what we're trying to do right now. No problem. Yes, that's why I'm saying to rewrite it in a way that it works for you, right? So, what, what helps you guys? I, I'm just wondering. Does it does it help you to write it down, or does it help you to listen? Which one helps you guys? Uh, for me, it's listening. For you, writing, writing down. Writing it down. Oh, okay. Because mm. did, you, did you see the video I posted from Dilshan, right? The other convert brother, how beautiful he studied. And he's made, mostly picking it up by listening. So everybody's different, right? Some people are more visual, you want to read it. And some are more, you know, listeners. Okay, you got it, Nathan? I'm getting, wait, I'm, I want to, Hope you're not reading your client emails. Or no, he's actually not. I was. <laughs> um, oh, I thought I, I looked at his notes. I'm like, oh, uh, A L L. So let me do the. Uh, I'm really bad at spelling. Uh, 
The, the cat is waiting for you to, to write it. <laughs> We're writing right now. So far we have Allah who Akbar. Sub hot. Not not sub, it's sub. Very important. Right, 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 right should be attached to the A, right? Subhan Allah. Subhan Allah. Yeah. Is this? Ha, yeah, Allah. Oh, yes. And then we have Wallah Illah, Ha Illah, Allah. Very good. Yeah, kill that. All right. What about? Did you did you get Alhamdulillah? Right, I missed it. Did you get Alhamdulillah? Oh, it's still writing that right now. So send me the final version as well, so I know how you guys write it, so it can be maybe useful for other people as well. Yeah, we'll call them Okay, thank you. All right, so Nathan, tell me that what that means. I don't know the meaning. We have to write that beside it. Right now, I'm just uh, trying to focus on the meaning. The meanings are written. I already sent you the meanings earlier, remember? I can resend it to you. Uh -huh. No, no, Allah is free from any deficiency or imperfection. Okay. Alhamdulillah means all complete and perfect praises belong to Allah. MashaAllah, very good. Wallah, Allah, Allah, Allah. There is no one worthy of worship, full submission, utmost love, trust, hope, and fear, expect, accept Allah. Very good. Uh, Allah Akbar, Allah is the greatest. Isn't there more? Yeah. No? Allah. Was that in order? Yeah, because you're saying, yes, you're saying, Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. That's how I say, that's how I say, walhamdulillah. Which one? This one right here. Wallah, well, well, alhamdulillah. How do you, why do you say it like that? I just say alhamdulillah. Yeah. So wa means end, right? So if 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 you're saying, so I just say alhamdulillah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you can say alhamdulillah. I have a lot of Ethiopian friends. They always say that, so I just have that in my head. Okay, no problem. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> All right. So listen. So this is basically the most important thing. Now you know how to pray. Okay. So this is a good prayer for you. Now all you need to do is remember those five intervals, making sure that you pause your life for Allah, and then you actually take the time to go and pray to Allah, right? And have your personal one-on-one -on -one communication. You can add your personal activities for the day. You can talk about what you want to achieve in the day, what you want to achieve in the long term. Ask Allah for those things. And that will be a good prayer. And if you take care of your five prayers, remember it's also a spiritual cleansing, right? So any shortcomings that we do, any sins we do, we get cleansified, purified, recharged, whatever you want to call it, right? It's like restocking your investment account, Nathan. Okay. So you're putting credits in your account, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that. Now let's do a, some of the reading from that PDF, then we'll read some Quran verses, and then we'll end the call. Then we'll see you guys on Friday. And then if you guys are re ready, we'll add another statement to it so you kind of get to the proper full uh, statements of the prayer, okay? And that we can do at different speeds. So if Nathan wants to go faster than Julian, no problem. Whatever speed you guys want to go. But now you at least have the basics taken care of, okay? Um. All right, so let's open the PDF. Maybe you guys can read a few lines. If you have any questions, we can explain that. And then we'll do a bit of Quran. And then uh, we'll take it from there. So you guys have the uh, PDF, right? My like, prayer. The PDF, uh, like this is the PDF after the prayer position. Correct. The blue one, the light blue that says my prayer. Mukhtar, you got it open, right? Who page is it? So we're starting from, from fresh. So they're going to read from starting from page one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is where I'm saving. Okay, so start reading. Okay. Hold on. So from page number one, which says Salah is one of the fundamentals. I'm going to actually share my screen as well with you guys. Where is screen share? Okay. From page one? Yeah. Like from the My Prayer Project. That, that, 
No, yeah, so next page, where, where it says Salah is one of the fundamental pillars of Islam. Okay, do you want me to read? Yes. Okay, Salah is one of the fundamental pillars of Islam. It was the first act of worship that was made obligatory by Allah, and it is the last thing to be taken away from the religion. When it perishes, Islam will perish. Its obligation was revealed directly to the Prophet during his ascension to the heaven, and it was made obligatory upon every sane idol Muslim. Muslim. Salah is the first action that a believer will be questioned about, for the Messenger of Allah said, the first act that the slave will be accountable for on the Day of Judgment will be prayer. If it is good, then the rest of its acts will be good. And if it is deficient, then the rest of its acts will be deficient. Okay, let's pause here, right? So think about yeah, so this, right? So, I'm just going to have to go through another sense. Repeat, you repeat that question? So pretty much once they're there in this sense, I said go through another test and pray and do all that stuff. Or no? Okay, I couldn't hear the question. Can you please repeat it? Like on Judgment Day, like you have to pray in front of um, whoever? <laughs> no, 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 no. So, oh. okay. So it's like, bro, like it's your investment accounts, right? So how many prayers that you invested in? It's a counter, right? So let's say if you live, you know, you, you're, you're actually going to Allah and your record will say how many prayers you prayed. And you know, what did you get out of those prayers? So you and I can pray. And even though you're not, you don't know the full statements, just because of your focus, your prayer can be way, you can be hundred times more worthy than my prayer because I was distracted, right? I think Julian's sick right now. Yeah, my stomach hurts. I think he might've got salmonella poisoning because he didn't have the chicken properly. Because if he sure didn't, I know exactly what's about to happen too because I had salmonella poisoning before. I was, but I was eating, the thing mm -hmm. is I was eating the chicken before. It, it was cooked. Oh. It was cooked. We were testing it. already it. cooked, but I was testing it. Okay, so listen, Julian. man. Okay, let's get back to the agenda. Okay, so what I'm saying is, so you will have that record of how many prayers you prayed, what kind of quality they were, right? So if your prayer, so prayer is a good metric. If you want to see how much we love Allah, right? How much actually? So we can say that you know there's no one worthy of worship, no one worthy of submission, no one worthy of love except Allah. It's lip service, right? But if we can't pause our life to go ahead and actually start praying. That it tells a lot about our love to a lot, right? Yeah. So, so that's the point. So that will be all, you know. So that's a good metric, and on the day of judgment, you will have it written for you of how many we prayed, with what quality, and how many did we miss. Clear? Clear. Okay. So Clear. now you continue reading a bit more, Nathan, and then we'll pause at the end of this page and read a few verses of Quran. Okay. Um. It's, it's, not, it's more than that one paragraph, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't find the notes for some reason. Sure. Right here. So um, the importance of salah is so great, and you guys know what salah means, right? So salah is the Arabic for prayers, and it has several meanings. One of them is that it's your connection to Allah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The importance of you have to go up after. Oh, and we have to go up after too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Uh, the importance of Salah is so great that one is ordered to observe it in all, all, in all occasions, whether one is healthy or sick, <laughs> whether one prays, standing, sitting, or lying down, or, no, it's this one. And then which paragraph do I read from there? For whether, one? whether one is traveling or residing. I have to go up. <laughs> Where one is traveling or residing and whether one is safe, or in fear. Um, Salah is our key to success in this world. And hereafter, Allah says His glorious, say, says in His glorious book, successful indeed are the believers who are humble in their prayers and in other verses, and who pay heed to their prayers. These are the heirs who will inherit paradise. There will they, there will they abide. There will they abide. I don't know if this comes uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Do I keep reading? No, that's it. Okay, so, so reflect on that. Look, even if you're sick, right? So the the physical elements can be changed. So you, if you can't stand, you sit down and you pray, right? If And stop multitasking, Nathan. That's why I do video calls with you. I know what you do. Uh, yeah, yeah. This, uh, All right. All right. Um, yeah, so if you can't stand, you sit down. If you can't sit, you lie down, right? But in, but it's a conversation, right? It's that conversation that pausing our 
activities of pausing from the physical world and focusing on the metaphysical, the spiritual world, right? So you kind of connect with Allah with that in any condition you are in. And, and many times whenever Allah is praising the believers, He's actually exp he's mentioning their qualities. Salah is the topmost quality that's mentioned after faith. Okay, as you saw the examples that you just read. Okay, so just like, okay, now it's the next three paragraphs. Just read them quickly and then we'll, we'll stop for today. Next three paragraphs, okay. The main purpose of this booklet is to help you learn and how to pray correctly as taught to us by the Prophet Muhammad. Um, it provides a simplified, illustrated, step-by-step -step guide to Salah and what do, what do, which we hope we will get you up and running quick. For more, for more detailed and comprehensive expl explanation, please refer to your local Mazid, Mazid or Islamic bookstore yep. for an advanced book on Salah. We ask Allah to accept from us our actions and forgive us for our shortcomings, and inshallah, you will find the content of this book booklet beneficial. Okay, this book is not for sale. Yeah, so we're not selling it to you. Okay. okay, so the the five hundred dollars I took from you for the book, I'll return that. Just kidding. What? <laughs> okay, listen. All right, so that's good. So now, do you want to pick a random verse of Quran and then Mukhtar, Do you have anything to add? Sorry. Uh, no, no. Continue, Mushan. Okay. So you guys want to pick a random book, random verse from Quran? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me mostly um, let me open the app too. So you tell me the chapter and the verse number, and we'll go from there. This one, eighteen, I think. Okay. And then fifty-seven. The Alka, the cave, and then fifty-seven. Very nice. Let me open Sorry. that. Bo both of you got it. Let's go to wash. Just straight to the bathroom. Do it after this. Okay, so read. Go ahead, read. Uh, who's gonna read first, Julian? Go ahead. And who does more wrong than he who is reminded of the ayat of his Lord but turns away from them, forgetting what his hands have sent forth? Truly, we have set veils over their hearts, lest they should understand this, and in their ears, deafness. And if you, O Muhammad, call them to guidance, even they, even then they will never be guided. Okay, great. So, so it's basically talking about a sudden people, man. Like they, you can tell them whatever. You can show them the signs. You can show them miracles. But they're so much into their old ways and their own egos that mm -hmm. they, 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 they would not accept it. Okay? And, and for these people, they get to a point their hearts get sealed and they will never be guided. So the point of this, you know, my takeaway from this, one of the takeaways is that, look, at a certain point, you may be calling a family member, a friend, a relative, and it becomes very heartbreaking, right? That, look, this guy is not listening to me. This person is not listening to me. I'm, I'm explaining to him all the ways, logic, this angle, that angle, but the person is not listening. So at the end of the day, it's also important to accept that, look, certain people will not accept it, right? And then not to overstress about things and to be content and to move on. Okay, and also from that angle, it's also important to protect our hearts so our hearts don't get sealed. So if we start ignoring the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we start ignoring the prayers and different things, there's a chance that we may get our hearts sealed as well. And that's one of the most, you know, um, terrifying dangers of disobeying Allah and ignoring uh, the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, so Mukhtar, can you read this word? Can you recite this verse for us, please? It's 57, woman of... Um, yeah, woman of the Mumman, look at the ayat you wrote. You got that? Exodus al Kahf. 57, verse number 57. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Uh, okay, Julian and uh, Nathan, in the meantime, can you read the next translation? Gosh. 58. Oh, we just lost it. I'm sorry. You lost it because you're multitasking. No, I'm actually listening. <laughs> So my brain is in another spot right now. Okay, so we, we gotta wrap up soon, okay? So 57 Mukhtar. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Re, yeah, recite Mukhtar. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
ومن أظلم من ذكر بآيات ربه فأعرض عنها ونسي ما قدمت يدا إنا جعلنا على قلوبهم أكنة أن يفقهوه وفي آذانهم وقرا وإن تدعوهم إلى الهدى فلن يهتدوا إذا أبدا Okay, next one, 58, and Nathan? And your Lord is most forgiving, owner of mercy. We have to call them to account for what they have heard. Then no, surely... hang on, hang on, hang on. Not, not we have to, were he to call them. Oh, my bad. Were he to call them to account for what they have earned, then surely he would have hastened their punishment. But they have their appointment, their appointed time beyond which they will find no escape. Okay, fantastic, man. This is this is so powerful, right? So first of all, tell me, what does it tell you about your Lord? He's forgiving. He's, He's merciful. He has mercy. Great. So what does that mean is that never to lose hope. Okay, that's the correct understanding. Never lose hope and keep asking Him for forgiveness. <laughs> right? But at the same time, an abusive use of this would be to keep doing the wrong and thinking that He will forgive us. That That's not being smart. That's not being wise. Okay? Now, yeah. now the second thing is, look, uh, if Allah were to hasten the punishment, right? If Allah were to hasten it and, and hold people accountable for what they do of wrong right away, He would have yeah. made the punishment quick and would have come quick and would have grasped them, would have caught them, right? Yeah. But Allah gives respite to people so they can fix their affairs, right? So He doesn't hasten the punishments. So that's mm -hmm. what I would like saying that, look, there's an appointed time for everyone and that is when their game will be over, when their life will be over and that's the, there, there's no more action. So whatever you have done, you, you have that opportunity to do it in this life. And Allah has given you that lifespan to, to rectify your affairs. So if you have done anything wrong, to now catch up, to leave a bad habits to, and start doing the good. Okay, because okay. and, and, when that time comes, then there's no one that can be saved, right? There's no escape, even if you are the most... If you're the richest person, the most powerful person, you have to go when your time is up. So, yep. Okay, so with this, we will end. And hope we're seeing you guys on Friday, correct? So you're coming in Friday, on... 1.30. One thirty is a prayer. You're going to target to be there at one twenty, right? Okay, yeah. We can do that. And then after the prayer, we'll meet up in the boardroom. So if you don't see each other before that, just come to the room and just walk in, inshallah, okay? Okay. All right, see you then. All right, take care. Assalamu alaikum. Well, Thank mm -hmm. you.